This video is time sensitive, so although I have literally just uploaded a video, please stick around for this entire video. I'm going to show you my exact workflow to create articles that start ranking on Google in literally a few hours. Now, a few hours, you might say, that's complete horse crap. Well, watch this video and we shall see. Okay, so first of all, let me just show you the kind of proof. Yes, I know I'm not using um, a VPN. I am in Italy, et cetera, et cetera. There are a million different reasons why you can leave a comment right now calling me a liar. Let's go on an incognito tab and we'll type smart casual dress code for men. This keyword, you may be surprised, actually has a lot of searches per month. It's an incredibly popular keyword. And if we can rank for this keyword, I will be very, very happy. Now look at this here, mastering the smart casual dress code for men, iSuit. As you may or may not know, I am the SEO of iSuit. Let's open this page up and let's have a look at this. First of all, this article took me less than a few minutes to write. Yes, there is a big wall of text, but what I like to do is basically this right here, which is include the products as images. And this seems to work very, very well for getting indexed, etc., etc. Now, this video is not strictly for e-commerce SEO, but obviously this is an e-commerce website. So a lot of people will say this won't work for anything except e-commerce. However, this is actually just an informative article. So what does that mean exactly? It basically means that it's an article that gives information which you can easily make a similar article for any topic okay don't just think because this is an e-commerce website you cannot apply what i'm going to teach you in this video to writing content for a niche affiliate website this was posted seven hours ago it's already on google it's already ranking on google for god's sake it's absolutely insane okay you would not expect this normally. Let's quickly go on Ahrefs and let's see if this keyword does have as much searches as I seem to remember when I checked earlier, which it was thousands. So the traffic potential is 6.3 thousand, which is very, very high, of course. And if we do smart casual for men, for example, 5,000 traffic potential, smart casual dress. Dress could mean dress, smart casual dress code. There it is. This is the big keyword with 38,000 searches per month, which is completely crazy. I highly doubt iSuit is going to be anywhere near the first or second page for this. I would be very, very surprised if it was already ranking for this. I'll check the third page, but I doubt it. Okay, it's not, but again, this will come slowly, slowly, okay? Not everything can come at once. You have to be patient. I really wanted to make this video because this is the fastest I have ever seen an article rank. So we are going to be using the playground for this. You can try to use ChatGPT4 inside the UI like this. You can try if you want, but I, I just find that the playground is significantly better and just basically has... It's just the output is better. I have more control over everything, etc., etc. So I'm going to show you exactly how I wrote this article today. And I think you guys are going to like this a lot. So first of all, there is the prompt, which we put into the system prompt here. The article topic is all I did to find the article topic this time was I just went to a competitor. This turn, this time it was Suits Expert. And I basically, what I did was I got their website. I put it on to Ahrefs. And I found their best keywords and I wrote the articles of their best keywords. This is literally the oldest trick in the book when it comes to finding content ideas. You can see smart casual attire right here. This is literally how everybody finds keywords and anyone that tells you this, this is copying just has no idea about SEO. Um, so yeah, I took that, I took their article idea and I basically put it in here into the two little things. All of this will be in the description. The article topic is smart casual dress dress code. Is that the big keyword? Let's check just real quick, just to be sure. Smart. 
casual dress code. Okay, 38,000 a month. So if we can even get a slight uh, cut of that pie, obviously we will be really, really happy. So we'll go back over to my content machine and what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this and these are all of the internal links. However, there are currently too many internal links. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this version of ChatGPT. I'm gonna paste all the links here and I'm gonna say, let's say, pick out 30 internal links from this from this list that could be used for a an article about smart uh, casual dress code this worked earlier but i guarantee it will not work now because i'm making a video and that's just you know the way it goes so again this is too long so i can't actually use it so i'm going to use the playground again I really don't, I'm, I'm starting to not like chat GPT in the UI. It just never works. It's really, really annoying actually. So we'll just go back to the playground and we'll go to chat GPT-4 and we'll say the same thing like this. Um, let's come then 2000 and press submit. It's too long. So we'll put this down a little bit. Okay, this should start to pick some out. So you can see it's just gonna pick out random ones, okay? Another way you can do this is you can do it manually or you can use some type of code that picks out any keywords that have t-shirts in, for example. But I think using ChatGPT is probably the best way to do this because it will pick things that are very, very relevant, okay? So it's picked t-shirts, polo shirts, jeans. I don't think we have any room, I can turn on jeans. Jeans, Brunella. Oh, no, we do have Brunella Cucinelli jeans. So yeah, this is definitely the best way to do this. Uh, what you can also do is you could cut down like, I don't know, let's say, let's say we just cut through a load of this because it's just, there's just too many. And we're obviously not gonna have that many internal links in the article. And you can still use, God, that's so long. You can still use the uh, UI of ChatGPT like this. Okay, pick out the links uh, to be used for an article about smart casual dress code for men. Let's see if this is too long. Okay, perfect. So this actually works a lot better. It's a lot quicker. So that's nice as well. And we're, I'm just going to use these as an example, these 30 back uh, internal links, okay? I would recommend taking a bit more time and making sure that the everything that you want to be included is included. So one thing I would always include are all of my designers. So it would be like designers slash kit on and all of the other ones, okay? I do recommend as well having a big list of internal links. So if I go on my Google Sheets like this, I will show you that I have iSuit internal links ready to go. And yeah, you can basically take them from here as well. It really, it depends on how you wanna do this part. You can also just use an automatic internal linking tool, but you do wanna make sure that any pages that are important to you, you include them. So I'm actually just gonna very quickly put all of my internal links here. And I'm also gonna grab a few more blog posts just because I am trying to raise the overall authority of my uh of the blog okay i say my i use that term loosely it's not mine it's i work for a company but there you go okay so this is the system prompt and then what i like to do is i like to say write the first part of this article okay you don't really need to change anything here except you need to make sure that your business is here and your article topic is here okay everything else and also the internal links, okay, are your internal links. Everything else you can leave exactly as is, okay? We're gonna press submit, and this is gonna create some of the best content that can rank incredibly quickly and incredibly easy, easily, okay? While this is loading, I am gonna very quickly check on my phone if there has been any hits on this article. Okay, so unfortunately there have not been any hits on this article today. It would be very strange to already have hits on an article after one day. But what I wanted to talk about is why this works so damn well, okay? 
And the reason is we take the context from our internal links and we put them in to the article. Okay, so the context is everything. So ChatGPT understands that a polo shirt is smart casual. Okay, we can all agree if you are told to wear something smart casual, then you would consider a polo shirt to be acceptable. You would also say that a t-shirt is acceptable, okay? But you wouldn't wear a suit. You wouldn't want to wear a suit to a smart casual event. You wouldn't want to wear a tuxedo to a smart casual event, okay? So by, take, by using ChatGPT 3.5 in the UI like this to take out the kind of internal links, it adds the context already to the article, okay? So once this is finished, what I like to do is I like to say, now write the second part of this article and press submit again. This normally works. Um, this I used to have huge problems with this because I was using absolute links. So with HTTPS slash slash isuit.it. However, I managed to learn how to use relative links, as you can see in the system prompt here, which saves such a huge amount of tokens when prompting ChatGPT that it actually just fixes the whole situation and makes everything a lot better. Okay, so a couple of things. You can see that this content is much larger, okay? Much longer. There is more HTML, there's more markdown, there's more of everything, which is the, the really important thing behind this method, okay? Generally speaking, the more that you give Google's crawlers to read, the better something will rank, okay? So you can see that it's got lists. It's using an absolute metric ton of internal links, which I personally like, although it's maybe not for everyone, okay? It doesn't necessarily work for everyone. But generally speaking, this works incredibly well. The final thing I like to do is I like to say using this format, create an FAQ at the bottom of the article. And then what I did was I took one piece of uh, this. So uh, using, uh, what's it called? I don't even know what that weird thing is called. This like bracket. I don't know the name of it at all. So we'll just change that actually. We'll just quickly put this instead. And yeah, you just copy and paste this in HTML, HTML. Um, I don't know if I need to close the HTML off. It'll work it out itself. It'll probably work it out itself. So I'm just gonna press submit here. And it looks like it is correctly creating the, yeah, it is. So what you can do is you can copy everything under the HTML into the article at the end. And that is invisible content that makes your article more likely to rank. And it also, another thing that it does is it makes people more likely to click on your answers, okay? The reason for that is because on Google, you may see sometimes these little FAQ things that you can click. People are more likely to click on your article if you have these because that's just how the human brain works. The final thing I wanna show you is Microsoft Designer. While this is writing, what I normally do is I just go on designer.microsoft.com and I say, create me a Shopify featured, oops. So create a Shopify featured blog image for an article called smart casual dress code for men. What you wanna do is you wanna copy this because we're gonna be using this as the name of the picture. You always have to be thinking about SEO. You can either add a picture or you can just press generate here and it should generate something that's usable even if you don't have your own images like this, for example, or this, they're pretty good. Like they're not ideal and obviously it's better to have your own images, uh, but you could probably get away with using something like this, for example. So you just press customize and then click here, press rename, do control A, control V in order to put this there and then just hit download remove watermark and download and that's pretty much it now you from now all you need to do is put everything together so what i like to do is i like to go to markdown to html 
I grab the first part of the blog post. I grab the second part of the blog post, press enter twice and press control V. And then I like to grab the, uh, blah, 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 the FAQ, I forgot what the word was. The FAQ schema, press enter twice, control V, raw HTML like this. And now we just grab this, okay? And now we can do, yeah, you basically, yeah, you need to go into Shopify. So let's just go into Shopify while we're here. Okay, so I'm, I'm not gonna press save here, but I'm gonna press show HTML. Uh, is this gonna mess up my whole article? Whatever. Control V and then press HTML again. And then as you can see, the FAQ is hidden. The article is beautiful. How, me how much text do we actually have here? Word counter tool. Let's see, we have 975 words. That seems low, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, guys. This is currently the best flow possible to rank quickly on Google using ChatGPT. Peace out.